What's up? It's Michael Bumpus with Seattle Sports. I'm going to tell you guys who the best offensive player is right now for the Seattle Seahawks. It was nice to see DK get involved this week. He had 12 targets, scored his first touchdown. The week prior, Tyler Lockin got involved over 100 yards, and now we've seen Rashad Penny get the ball 14 times, and we saw Ken Walker. But none of this is working without Geno Smith. This guy has over 700 yards passing, four touchdowns, and two interceptions. One of his interceptions was late in the game against the Atlanta Falcons. He's just trying to make a play, had to throw the football up. But the way that he has taken care of guys on his offense is impressive. He's gotten the tight ends back involved. You got Will Disty with a touchdown. Kobe Parkinson with a big reception as well. I didn't think Geno Smith could be the centerpiece of this offense. And I think eventually for this team to take the next step, it has to be someone else, right? DK has to emerge as a red zone threat again. Offensive line has to protect. It's going to take the whole village. But when you talk about consistency and performance, you have to look at Geno Smith. He's completing 77% of his passes right now. That's better than Russell Wilson. That's better than Tom Brady. That's better than Aaron Rodgers. There are guys with more yards than him, more touchdowns than him, but that's okay. He's doing exactly what this offense needs to do to be in the fight. Right, You almost beat the Atlanta Falcons. You have a chance to win. You get kind of blacked out against the 49ers, but that's okay. Geno has been efficient every single week. He threw for 300 yards for only the fourth time in his career. The fourth time. This guy's been in the league forever. Hasn't been a day one starter since eight years. It's been eight years since that day. So um, Geno Smith, I look at him. I like the way he's playing. There's weapons around him. Starts and end with him so far.